Why? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It's a little overcast, but it's beautiful. Into the fake lake. That wasn't even a has the fake water. Has the fake water. Luke has the fake water. Is it wet? What? Has the fake water. Wet. Good. Well, yeah. Hi, Sammy Neiman. Hi, Wilderwick. Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Cannonball. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Hi, Kelly Vendizo. Hi, awesome girl. Okay. It's a little windy. It's cool. You guys. Oh, okay. Ready? Oops. <laughs> Good try, but your your legs get them. Try to get them straighter. Well, he tried. It was a good try. Almost. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Rough and Ready. Yeah, you guys, I saw you guys uh, all telling me how hot it is, you know. And it's uh, very cool here. Uh, very cool. It's There's a cool breeze. It's not like, and the sun has been overcast. Well, it's pretty good. He's just got to get a little form, but he's doing good. Yeah, it was, of course. And you dive his head first in the water, and that's what he's doing. Good job. Hi, Eva. How are you? Hi, Sour Milk. See, it's like overcast, right? See? And so, and there's like a cool breeze. It's 102 there, Kelly Bundizo. Where are you, Kelly? Texas? It's not that here. Ethan, do you have the temperature on your watch or anything? Or your phone? What do you have? Nothing? 74. It's not not hot. Not nothing that you would be like, oh my gosh. The water's warm. No, not really. Though you know, um today Ethan goes to me, You look like Allie, Mom. You know, and yes, I look like my daughter, everybody says that, but he goes, It's your hair especially and I go, My hair and then I go, because my daughter has curly hair. She had ringlets when she was little. And I look at my hair, and my hair, he's right. It's all curling up, like, um, and I know that let can do that in more in the humidity. It's in the, it's not, but it wasn't as frizzy as it is in the humidity. So I think there's the humidity is less. There's a breeze. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was, all right. Is that worth $2? He got paid, what, $2 for that for you, Ethan? Ethan paid him two dollars to do that. It is. There's actually like a coolness in the air. Like you could possibly feel it might be September or October or something like that. Really, it's crazy. So I wanted to also tell you that the rug. We are having the auction tonight. I know you guys were like, "Are we having the auction tonight?" And I was like, "I don't know." But I spoke to Dan D. And she's going to come on after the rug lady. And Chris Ree, if you would like to come on, you're welcome. Linda, anybody else that wants to sell. I know Jeannie, talking about life, you had said um, a little while ago that you wanted to. But anybody that wants to come on, come on. Because I want to help you guys. It's fun. Maybe you can put a few extra dollars in your pocket. And who can't use that with the price of gas and everything. So, you know. Let me know. We are going to play it by ear as to how long it'll be. Um, Mary, I think the weekend was very, very busy down there. And she sold a lot of stock. So it's just, uh, she, but she's going to do the two by threes. I and, got two bucks, Mom. Yeah, hey, wow. Let me see how cold you are. Ooh, it's oh, not cold. It's warmer than the air. Your body feels cold. I'm not even cold right now. Okay. But anyway, um, let me see what I was going to say. I don't know what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, we are going to have it. So I'm going to put the uh, thumbnail on 630. I, I don't know, like Danny and I were saying, how long we're going to keep it. Hi, Captain Lee fan. But I think I think everybody could use a, uh, you know, lighthearted fun day with, you know, people 
helping people and having fun kind of thing, right? And that's what we're aiming for. That's what we're aiming for. I'm going to put this like this so I don't have to, so I can drink my coffee. Hold on. Hi. See, my hair is like crazy. I know. It looked like uh, something that cat dragged in. But, um, <clears throat> coffee is okay. I've got to get the wake up. Now, what we're going to do is, let me see here. Uh, why is that blurry? Hold on. How is that blurry? Okay. Blurry, blurry, blurry. There we go. I hope it doesn't fall off. Hi, Tracy Thomas. Oh, adorable. Yeah, my hair is in a tizzy. I really have to see if uh, we can color my hair. I've got to color my hair so freaking bad. It's not funny. It's not funny. I've got to color my hair. But what are we going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> Captain Lee fan, I, I'm, I'm pretty close to something in Elephant Dragon. Uh, I, I, got, I got a little bit better sleep with the thing in my side because I took the, uh, I got the um, a leave last night. But still, I did get bouts of good sleep, so that was good. I woke up at 6, and then I said, okay, you can't get up at 6. You've got to get some more sleep. And then I slept until 8. Good that you're home from the hospital, Aurora. Please stay healthy. And uh, whisper to me, Jeanette, you're waiting a week before the wedding. I'm such a mess. I need... Yeah, I sour milk and cookies. My hair is like... Somebody just said with the humidity and the, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I do look like my daughter when she gets out of bed. And, uh, heck, there are worse things, right? There are worse things. Yeah, Captain Lee fan, I hope you're doing well. Say good day. There are worse things. Anyway, so, and now, um, rough and ready, I don't know if you're here, so I'm going to go look. We have to get, I'm, I'm so sorry, like, we are so behind on everything, and then now Jimmy's getting, like, really, really nervous about it, so I'm like, just calm down, we'll get it done. Um, there were some requests we sent that I have to go look to see if they were paid. Um, if they were, we'll ship those out rough and ready. Please bear with me because um, I think you know how crazy things are. I'm trying the best that I can, but it's just like every minute there's something else. There's something else. There's something else going on. Like with here, we've either got no rush. Thank you, rough friends coming over. Or then yesterday, the big scare with Jimmy, but that's fine. Thank God. Knock on wood. Um, and now he's got to go back to physical therapy again. Maybe a good olive oil to your calm. Oh, no, 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 Linda, I have, um, yeah, didn't I tell you the brush that has tea tree oil on it? They're great, but I haven't even, Linda, I haven't even done my hair today. I'm like a hot mess, as Sandy would say. You're a hot mess, girl. I'm a hot mess. Um, but it's okay, because I'm comfortable with who I am. So anyway... I have the brush with tea tree oil, and it and it leaves a shine and stuff on your hair. It's great. It's made by the people that make. It's the wet brush. I think I've shown it to you guys. And at one point, it was on sale on Amazon for, yeah, coconut. Yeah. And Jimmy just made bacon. And they had BLTs. You guys had BLTs, right? Yeah. I had oatmeal and some bacon. So I'm a little different. But... Yeah, I had oatmeal, some bacon, coffee. They had BLTs. And Carolyn, I was just listening to you live from when you went to pick up Mr. Jimmy from the hospital. Oh, yes, I know, Kelly. You mean the replay on that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bacon, right? Mmm, bacon. So... 
trying to think what else. So we'll be on a little later. I wanted to just have a, because somebody asked me, they wanted to see somebody jump again, you know, to the fake lake. It's hard to do that. And you know, because it's hard to do that kind of editing. But I hope you guys think it looked real. So Kelly, what did you say you were in Texas? Is that where it's 102? Hi, Daisy Girl 172 and Oliver. Everyone, my hands and fingers are real swollen. Oh gosh, why? Are you having uh, like an arthritis um, flare up? Jimmy, where's our lunch? I know, right? <laughs> I'll never forget, I was like, the first time I heard about a BLT, my, my, I was up here actually, because our friends used to rent, you're, oh, you're in Tennessee. Oh, wow, okay, hot down there, huh? Yeah. Um, real hot. So, what was I saying? Yeah, and 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 the and the mother said something like, "Cause they would rent a house first. It was for two weeks. It was, you know, the guy that found my drone was well, his house. They used to rent it out for two weeks every summer, and the same family would come up, and they were from Hazlitt, New Jersey, and they became like our best friends. And they had two girls. Well, they had five children, but the two youngest girls were one was a year older than me, one was a year younger than me. Still friends with them today." And they would come up and we would wait, like when we would know they were coming up, because that time you wrote letters to people, right? You didn't have cell phones where you could check where they are. <laughs> you wrote letters and they would say, we're coming up, we're renting the house this day. And the girls that were here with us, we used to sit there on the steps of their sidewalk the day they were coming and just wait for them. And every car, like, oh my gosh, that's them, that's them, it's not. And they had one of those, like, uh, the, you know, the country square station wagons with the wood on the side, right? And they had like this, their, their mother was like the quintessential mother, you know, she always had sour balls and she was always like a little, very calming. And her father was a little more of a hothead, but she was, she was just a great, great woman. She passed away recently. And um, <clears throat> so she would say, okay, you know, we're going to have BLTs and we would spend as much time as possible with them. And I said, BLTs, what's, that? and they said, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And at that time I didn't like tomatoes. So I'm like, well, I'll have bacon and lettuce, but, you know, <laughs> that's a, that was the first time. But anyway, what was I going to say about them? Then then what happened was that family that rented the house to them didn't really want to rent um, for, and lose two weeks of their summer. So they started renting the house just for a week. And then not at all. In fact, she's asked me uh, several times if we would rent this house to them so they could come up because... They grew up in this lake, too. I mean, it was summer after summer after summer they rented that house, probably for 15 years or more. So, hey, 80s girl, good to see you. So, yeah, that's the one thing. Somebody was asking me that when everybody was clapping with the fireworks and they said, you know, everybody's showing their appreciation. You have to also understand that most people that live on this lake have lived here for years and the houses, if um, there still are, like my aunt is still alive. She's 97. My uncle passed away. My parents passed away. The house next to me, those, their parents passed away. The house next to that, I think her father is still alive, but he's in a, in a nursing home. The guy that I told you with the drone, his parents have both passed away. Because they, you know, if they're alive today, they're going to be in their late 90s, maybe even 100. So that's what's happening, right? But I still remember when the house next door to me, when they moved in, the mother was 44 years old then, okay? Had a four year old daughter who became my friend, right? And it's so weird because when you talk about how fast life goes, right? Because I can still remember that day going over to meet them. And she was 44. She's no longer here now. She hasn't been here for, she passed away in her 80s, I believe it was, okay? 
So in 40 years time, how quickly that went, right? And you think maybe somebody's meeting you today. Maybe you're 44, maybe you're 50. But just in a blink of an eye, you're, you're gone. What do you leave behind? What kind of legacy do you leave behind? It goes so fast. That's the part that's really scary. Because when you do live in a place where you've grown up with people, okay, who, who are still here, and, and, and you go down to the houses, and you say, no, their parents are gone. Those people are gone. All these people that played a big part in shaping who you are because up here in the summer you do get to know everybody, okay? And you they're gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. And it's like you realize just how fleeting life is. And now we're here. And as we're here, especially when your parents go, you um you're like I, I remember telling my brother something. My brother, my, my brother is, I call him my youngest brother. He's my youngest, oldest brother. But he said to me, that I said, you know, when your parents go, you feel like you're the next up to bat. He goes, but yeah, but you're the youngest of all of us. So you have this buffer of like four other siblings. And I said, well, that's, you know, it doesn't always work that way. We know that, right? But I said, it's just like, it makes you feel that. And I think that's what, um, I had some kind of feelings about that, about being just like, almost like death was right around the corner. I know that sounds really morbid, but it was. And then I spoke to a friend of mine from high school. She's a psychologist and we were just talking and, um, She's Italian. She used to come up here, ironically, with me. And we were talking, we were talking about stuff, and she said, you know what, I think you have that, because now this time, we're talking about, this is um, probably 12 years ago. So she said, because you lost your parents in less than a year apart. And, you know, here you were then, you have two brand new babies. You've lost your parents. Of course, you're probably, your foundation gets shattered by something like that, you know? So, yeah, so, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I didn't mean to bring this, but, but somebody was asking about the appreciation. And yes, most of these houses are then inherited by the children, and more than that, like there's one, two houses up for me where the, where the I used to you know the boy, Kevin, and they were good friends with people across the way. And what happened there when they sold their house, I positively, Parker, their daughter bought the house and renovated it. And she lives there. So now she has her parents across from her on the other side and she has the house over here. But it's still somebody that I grew up with. And there's not many places because if you think about like the neighborhoods you grew up in, and, I, and you know, there was one I lived my whole life, those houses and everything have changed. You know what I'm saying? The families move out and they move out. They don't inherit them. They don't, they're not there. The same people aren't there. But up here on this lake, very, very few people um, sell their house. And that's why they don't even need to announce a sale of a house. What they do, if somebody's thinking of selling their house, they just put it in this like newsletter that goes around to the lake people. And what happens is within literally a few minutes, there's somebody that wants to buy it. And that's what's happened. And it's happened to only a few homes. So when you say everybody's appreciated, well, everybody like really knows each other through, you know, from over the years. Ms. Haskell? Yeah. I know some of you are asking us that you will leave. He's gonna do the dye test the next week. I know. Yeah, he's doing. The, they're gonna do the dye test in here next week. No, I'm just saying that how yeah, everybody saying, knows each other. Said, oh, are you gonna sell your house, Sandra? Oh, well, I, know, I hear all this chatter about it. Oh yeah, you know you hear it, but you don't. You don't really know what's going on. I said, no, nobody says that. You know, we don't know anything about.
about that. You know, I don't know why they're saying that right there. So, um, we are, uh, what I'm trying to say is that there's very little the place places. Being, you can. Do I have to go to the post office? Are you going to go to Walmart? Well, I don't even know. I gotta I'm going to call in a second. I'm just going okay, so to. There's the very few places where you can be with so many people you can log why don't you log on to my paypal right there and see what's going on okay, if there's yeah why don't you just ju ju just see if there's any uh, anything uh. so yeah so you know you have it's different it's very it's very very different you know far more if you're watching from the er Oh my gosh, because he couldn't get his blood sugar. And you're always so careful, always trying to go get him something. Carolyn, could I email you a case I'm working on with my mom? Sure, positively, Parker. You have my email. It's uh, Nightbot will give it to you if you put a exclamation point and email. You most certainly can. Um, <clears throat> you can. I'm so sorry, Farm Wife, because you're always, like, whenever we're on, you're always like, I have to go get my husband this because of his blood sugar. So you're always right on that. I'm really sorry, prayers. I hope that they get it under control. That's scary. I'm sorry you're in the ER. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's just... A missing 14-year-old girl? Oh, no. Is, she, um, is it a cold case positively, Parker, or has she gone missing recently? But, um, yeah, and that's why I think, hi, little Miss STFU. If you want to come on tonight and sell anything, let me know, okay? You haven't been on in a while. Absolutely prayers from my I hope I leave behind kindness and positivity when it's exactly Debbie D. What do they say? Um, people won't remember a lot of times what you did, what you said, but they'll remember how you made them feel. And that is so true. That is really true. But yeah. That's um that's something that's that's a reason like I you know I, I don't like winters and do people live around here year round yes they do a long time ago nobody did and when I built my other house here you know I was I looked at other places first that's what that's what maybe you don't understand I had bought land other places to build a house. A kindness legacy, that's great. Make people feel something, right? It's, it's, just be a good person. You know what I mean? Be a good person. There are people that I've come across who, you know, it's odd because there are people that try to throw Christianity around but they don't they're not using it for the right purpose they're using christianity to hide behind it like a shield and say like if i'm telling you i'm a christian and i'm a christian that means i'm a good person and i truly feel anybody that's got to convince you that they're a good person by telling you over and over they're a good person that's a red flag uh I mean, there's exceptions to everything, but 99% of the people that have ever sat in front and tried to convince me that they're a good person by telling me that they're a good person, I'm a good, I'm a really a good person. I'm a good person. I am a good person. I know that I'm a good person. They're usually not a good person. And I'll tell you something else. And there are exceptions because some people say, you know, well, frankly, but that doesn't mean that they're not always speaking truthfully. But there's a lot of people that say, I truly, truly feel this way. You know that I'm being honest with you. You have to know I'm telling you the truth. This is the absolute truth. I'm not a liar. 
when it's over the top like that, and I think the um, criminal profilers, and I think one of them on YouTube in particular, and I can't remember his name, I think it's Kevin something, he will tell you they look for the L-Y words, like absolutely, definitely. What I've seen, the other one that he uses, not one time, because they, they're like in absolutes. You know what I mean? And I think when anybody speaks in absolutes, you know it's not true. It's your actions. It's your actions, but it is your actions but they have to be your true actions because there are phony people who also put out a fake persona and their actions when people are watching can be very different than behind the scenes, if you understand. So it's just, I don't know. So what I'm going to say about Christianity, so the Christianity card is played a lot and says, well, I'm a Christian. I wouldn't do this. But then if they truly are Christians, here's the problem. The Christians are not, Jesus didn't tell us, oh, okay. So your brother hit you three times with that um, baseball bat. Okay. Yeah. Now you can go kill him, stomp on his head. No, no. Turn the other cheek, turn the other cheek, turn the other cheek, turn the other cheek. Okay, forgive seven times, 700 times. Treat people as I have treated you. So if they really wanna talk about Christianity, then they really, really have to live that if you want to, if they want to be taken seriously. If they're speaking about Christianity and they're seeking to destroy someone, seeking to lie about someone, that's it. You can say you're Christian all you want. Whatever. You know what I mean? So forgiveness is crucial. It's crucial for yourself. It's crucial for yourself. My fake legs, like lakes, like Legos, legs, <laughs> my fake legs, my peg legs. I don't have legs. I have legs. I have real legs. More, I think I've come across more bitch than I am. Yeah. It's just a label. Well, I think of it as a shield, Alicia. I've seen a lot do it as a shield. Luke's legs are fake. <laughs> Luke is a hologram, Danielle. 99 there, Kevin. It's, it's cool here. It really is. It really is cool here. But exactly, exactly, Jeanette. Jeanette says some people aren't religious and they're really good people. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about, you know, just trying to do the right thing. And I've gotten better at that. And I try not to, uh, you know, let it upset me. I just keep saying, you know, I know who I am, God. You know who I am. And I shine love and light out because I truly believe you're going to get what you put out there. And if you are vindictive and nasty and you seek to destroy and you lie about people and all this stuff to persecute them, then all of that stuff, first of all, is going to eat you alive inside. But you're also putting all that out there that you are seeking to destroy and destruction is what you get back. If you put out love and light, even to people that try to hurt you, then I believe that's what we get back and we get peace from it. It's not to say we don't get upset. It's not to say we don't get maybe in despair or whatever, but you know what came up on my phone today? 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they are the children of God. Every day there's a scripture or something. And that one came up today. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they are the children of God. You know? And... I don't know. As, as crazy as it sounds, I, I've said to myself, like, you know, would you like a friend like, like, like I, I know that when I'm a friend with someone that you got that too. Did you get that awesome girl? Yeah. You must have the same app I do, right? Blessed are the peacemakers. But I, I don't play the mean girl mind games. Like, oh, that shirt looks really good on you when it looks horrible. Oh, that haircut looks really good on you when it looks horrible. And then when you when they have something that looks really good on them, you go, oh, that doesn't look good on you, right? And those are mean girl games. Never played those. And I just, I can't do it. That's not who I am. And I've said, like, you know, if I'm blessed to have a limited number of friends that don't play those games that's great and really to focus on people that love me people that support me and cherish that because there are so many in this best community on YouTube that do that and that are here for me and have always been here for me and have never wavered because that means so much to me so much and I'm so thankful, so grateful. Keep your circle very small. Exactly, 80s girl. And, you know, I think we all learn that through some painful lessons, don't we? Hi, Crystal. Hi, Kathy from Texas. Or is that Kelly from Texas? I always... Kathy from Texas, okay. Hi, Christine. Yeah, everyone have a blessed day. Just be a good person for crying out loud. You know, the world is, our world today is so crazy, right? People just, did you see Deb, what we went over last night? That little two-year-old boy lost his parents. Yeah, we're having a uh, auction tonight, 6.30, you hear me? We're, he lost his parents. Friends are honest and kind to each other. Exactly, Alicia, that's right. And they cut each other slack and they know that people aren't perfect, right? People have bad days. You might have a disagreement with your friends, but you're still friends. But this little boy lost his parents, and listen to this, he was underneath his father who was bleeding. And this woman took the little boy who they didn't know his name, and they tried her, let me see, was it her? boyfriend and her son, I think it was, tried to save him, the, the father. And the little boy was saying, how are my parents, like, what's wrong with my mommy and daddy or whatever? He's two years old, okay, two years old. Then they had to find him. Yes, Aiden, right? Aiden McCarthy. He is living without his parents now. What he experienced that day will live with him forever. His parents, bright and shining young couple, he will never have full siblings because of what, and who knows if he'll even ever have siblings because of what, he'll never have siblings. Both of his parents are gone. What am I talking about? He'll never have any type of siblings, full or half. He could have adopted siblings, He could, but how, you know, I mean, you really know. I mean, someone would have to adopt him. I think he's with his grandparents, so he'll never have siblings. So he was robbed. That He was robbed to live his life with his parents. He was robbed to have siblings. He was robbed of all this stuff because some 22-year-old decided that I'm going to randomly shoot people. With I'm just going to randomly just go out there and shoot people. And this is what I mean, the aftermath too, and these kids that have to be left behind. And can you even imagine, he probably had the most ideal life. They were headed to breakfast. 
This is really, really, yes. They were headed to breakfast. And this is, this is another thing Jimmy talks about all the time. Like when kids get hurt on amusement parks or kids get hurt. I read a book once where this woman adopted this little girl from China. And she, she had other little girls. Oh, this book, this book tore me apart because this little girl's love for this little boy that was back in the orphanage got him to America. She loved this little boy so much, and she told her mother about him all the time. And the Chinese orphanages don't let you go and get a specific child. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, it is. You want to cry, you will cry like you couldn't believe, but it ends happy. She gets the little boy back, and her sister adopts him. But the little girl just loved him so much. Anyway, when she brings the little girl back from China, and she was an older adoption, so she was three or four years old, she said, you know, she integrated her with her little girls, and I think they were at her mother's house, and the kids were swimming at the pool, and they were going down one of those pool slides, and the little girl gets hurt badly, you know? And the thing she says is, oh my gosh, she was having such a good time. She was having such a good time. Things were so good, and then she got hurt. And, and Jimmy will say that too, like... Um, you know, kids get hurt at a party and everybody's having like such a good time and then somebody gets hurt or like at these amusement parks or Disney, you know, you think, oh, we're going on the trip of a lifetime, a lifetime. We do have to have a book club. We do have to have another reading, but you're going on the trip of a lifetime and then what happens? You, the unthinkable happens. You lose your child on a ride, a ride malfunctions. You lose your child, you lose your spouse, you, you know, um, you never know when it's going to happen, but when it happens, it's something that's supposed to be so great. Okay, Captain Lee Fan, it, it's just horrible. Or if it happens at the hands of some lunatic, like this one on the building, can you get the program going for more wavy? Mo oh, yes. Can we get some waves on here? Maybe some wind. Can the wind move the trees a little bit? Maybe a bird could fly across. But yeah, I don't know. I was feeling so sad since I needed to hear these words. Okay, yeah, sometimes we do. And that's what that's the other thing that I'm going to say, Alicia. So, sometimes, and I'm telling you, throughout everything, it's always been someone's words that care about me that have brought me through. The sun is, I know, I know, Danielle, it's above me, above the clouds, silver guess, has brought me through. And it can be three words. It could be, hold your head up, you got this girl. Hold your head up, people love you. Um, don't let, you know, the, the one that I love is, is from A Handmaid's Tale, don't let the bastards get you down. And I truly believe that, and I've said that to a lot of people. I've said that to uh, Sandra Rusak, you know, because there are people that are just persecuted for, for no reason. Don't let the bastards get you down. There's no power boats, right? It's a lake with no power boats. You can have electric motors, that's all. Maybe we could do something like a good deed challenge. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. You had a t-shirt with that? Oh yeah, I think you, sh didn't you show us that? I don't know why. I know you dressed up as a handmaid's tale. For Halloween, right? But I, true, I truly believe that because there are some people, unfortunately, that live to tear people apart. Don't let the bastards get you down. And you know what else I saw? Um, oh, let me think here. Somebody just, hold on, let me think who did this. Somebody just passed away. Somebody's mother just passed away. And they put... They put on their um, announcement of that. I don't want to say announcement of... But they put it on their the song, You and Me Against the World. And I don't know if you remember the 45, because I had the 45, but Helen Reddy in the beginning is talking to her daughter and... She, I think their daughter says, like, tell me again, mommy. And uh, you hear it, you know. And I think that's, 
I, I was thinking to myself, you know, even if you have just one person in your corner that believes in you, just one. But that song is very uplifting too. You know. Because life is cruel sometimes. People can be cruel, but like Anne Frank said, I still believe in the goodness of people. Cue the turtle. Cue the turtle, please. Remember remember that? What was that? Um, cue the deer when he was trying to sell. Was that funny for him? Cue the deer. But anyway, this has been... You know what this should be called? Lake Reflections. We should call this Making a Splash and Lake Reflections. That would be... That, that would be a good title for um, some talk, right? Bring in the geese. You know, Rebecca is somewhere where there's a lot of geese, more geese than she has ever seen. Right? Lake Reflections. Yeah, I'm going to go put the thumbnail up on that, Kevin. And hi, Cat Papet, how are you? Um, right, Debbie? Like reflections. So, yeah. So, Dandy and I, we said, well, choose, we're going to do the rugs. Uh, so, if Christy wants to come up, Christy comes up. If anybody else wants to, like I said, uh, Miss STFU, um, Jeannie's talking about life. Let's see, um... WD, I don't know if you're available. You want to come up on panel and help if you are. Um, that would be great. Let's see. I want to mail wooden spools to you for Rebecca. Oh, okay. Blow, well, it is windy. <laughs> uh, and I, yes, and it's pink, of course. It's pink too. And it's pink. I've got to check on... Um, about Sandra, right? What I, because uh, you know what? I just saw, I have something from the rugs lady and, and Mary will be on tonight. So she'll be on to, to sell the uh, two by threes that you guys wanted to look at. And six, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put the thumbnail. Like, we'll see. We, we may not go um, as late, but we're going to just who is amazing, awesome girl? I missed that. Yeah, so anybody that wants to sell, you know, let me know. You go. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Appreciate that. See, now it's getting real windy. Really, really windy. I'm queuing the wind. It's really coming in. But I'm going to help um, Jimmy get the other stuff going to see what we can get out today. And I brought my book, so we'll do that. All right. And... I need to talk to Mary when she is on. Yeah, let's do that farm life because I don't know. I, I don't know what the deal is. So we'll see with that, okay? Definitely. Definitely we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go on that one. And um, so now. All right. Yeah, no expectations, right? Go fishing. <laughs> I think I'll go for a walk. No, I think I'm going to go for a bike ride. I, I hope my, my side is, I think it's better today. Much It's better, much better today. Cue the fish. That I think I'm going to try that before the auction. At least a couple of miles, you know? I know. All right. Because it is cool. There is a nice breeze. It is awesome, girl. And thank you for uh, joining us for Reflections. That's like Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy. You remember that? Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy. It absolutely is, 80s girl. You know, sometimes you have to get away from a situation. And sometimes 
you get around even some other people and you see how like it doesn't even matter, right? Okay. Oh, it was a uh, making a splash. Making a splash. It's my party. I will. You, everybody enjoy whatever they do. I'm going to put the other thing up for the auction and I'll see you at 6.30. Hope to see you at 6.30. And thank you, Debbie D, for coming up to help. I appreciate that immensely. And uh, of course, Kevin is a great help. Danielle, all the moderators help like crazy. Kevin and Danielle, we couldn't do it without them. And Sharon, and I'm just so grateful, so grateful. And Lisa, oh, Lisa H, I don't know if you're gonna come up and sell. I uh, hope everything's okay, because I know you had your sleep study. And snow remover, even though, you know, snow remover can't be a lot, hair a lot, it's still, um, she's still a great help and a great support. Everyone is, and all right. So, and then our, our new, our, our new moderators that I had to put in the spot yesterday because I was on earlier than normal and appreciate that. Robbity Bob and Annette and um, Dina, manager of Three Monsters and everybody and Bridget. Bridget's a great help too. She, she's, she became a moderator because she couldn't chat otherwise, but she's been great. All right. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Everybody have a good day. Bye-bye. And if 